ever felt a little jealous checking out your friends' social media posts all about their fabulous lives? Did you ever think maybe those lives aren't really so fabulous? In Brad's status, Ben Stiller, who is so good at complaining, puts it all in perspective. We're going off to find your college. It's not this special. We're fully booked tonight. How about that one? It's not available. Oh, looks like it's available. Yeah, it's not. That night, my mind drifted back to college. So many friends have become successful. Craig Fisher worked for the White House. Jason Hatfield had his own hedge fund. Billy Wurstler sold his tech company at 40. What do I have? I work for a nonprofit and nothing to show for it. Somebody asked about you. You know, whatever happened to you. Where's Brad? I remember that guy Brad. This movie is about fathers and sons, but it's also about, I don't know, keeping up with the Kardashians. Is that a good way to put it today, mm, would you say? Yeah, well, I mean, it's the, the idea of comparing yourself to other people and, you know, which is sort of a human thing, I think, in terms of just what we go through in life. It's kind of hard not to, especially now with social media. And that's basically what it's all about, you know? It's like, hey, look what I'm doing. Look at my amazing life which we all want to put out there, I guess, on a certain level, but then when you see somebody else doing something, you go, well, are they, why are they having so much yeah, is fun? That more, or, yeah, yeah. Or is that, that's what my life should be. Yeah. How could someone in your position even relate to this kind of a story? <laughs> well, it's funny that you say that because when I gave the script to Ben Stiller, who is probably one of the most successful people in our industry, he was like, oh, I so relate to Brad. And I realized like, you know, it isn't, you know, I think at any level of success, there's this thing that's driving you to feel like you need more of it, you know, or need or see other people and start competing with the people that are, you know, even sometimes at the highest levels. Be happy. Mwah, love Be you. present. All right. I love you. These are competitive schools, Troy. Just try not to put too much pressure on yourself. My counselor thinks that I'll get into pretty much everywhere I apply. The kid's going to Harvard. They'll jinx me, dude. My son is a, a very talented musician. Also composes his own music, so. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure Harvard is uh, gonna be in the running. Oh, you think Harvard's got a chance? Pressure. Suddenly my thoughts darkened. Troy could easily end up struggling like me. This is Harvard. Even geniuses get rejected. We need to do everything we can. Dan, I'm about to go at my interview. Do you really need to be jumping all over me right now? You're nuts. When you compare yourself to someone who's doing better, you can feel sorry for yourself. And then when you compare yourself to someone who maybe isn't doing as well, then you're kind of a jerk for thinking that you're better, right? So it's just about that inability to stop comparing is really kind of what the movie is about. The obsession with the compare. But we can't stop, I guess. I guess we never really can. I know, well, what's that saying like, um, you know, well, there's so many sayings where it's like, you know, there's always someone richer, there's always someone more beautiful, there's always someone who has more. And so, like, you, you'll never, there's no finish line that you're ever gonna reach if um, you're trying to have all those things. Sometimes I worry that people think of me as a failure. Oh, that's right, you have your little thing. Oh, that is a cool thing that you do. That is good stuff. Your friends sound like dicks. Everybody's just thinking about themselves. The only person that's thinking about you is me. Isn't it crazy how we made this kid and how he's this brilliant, amazing person? I'm proud of you. Dad, are you having some kind of nervous breakdown or something? Under pressure. Check Brad's status in your power zone. <laughs>